Hello, my fellow guardians! This is Molucha, and welcome back to Destiny 2. In the previous episode, we went after the first treasure beacon that we got here from the star charts, and we were kind of. Well, I wouldn't say disappointed, but. Yeah, they made these quests a whole lot easier than they used to be. So, in today's episode, of course, we are going after the Cryptic Quatrains 2. And we press the switch to get the uh, side of a... Pre the, from a hidden compartment, drops a piece of apartment densely covered in scribblings by a renegade pirate. Okay. And we got five quest steps for this one. The bay filled me chest, although drown, I did not... I coughed and shivered me way through the mist. They dreamed I was lost, my sad scarper for naught. Yet all that I wished for was tight in me fist. So, bay chest drown. Okay. Mist, dreamed, lost, wish. So, I guess, dreaming city, lost sector. And then wish. Wish for what could be wish. Is there a lost sector that has a name with wish in it? But yeah, I think we need to go to the Dreaming City first. And then the, in the previous episode, we also saw that the first quest was telling us to go to the moon. And the second we arrived at the moon, the quest actually changed. And it gave us new information. So I guess we'll accept that one and head out for the moon. Uh, head out for Dreaming City because I don't see any... Other stuff that reminds me of a location other than that. So, destinations and then Dreaming City. It's been a while since I've been to the Dreaming City. And they were talking about mist. So, let's, yeah, let's head to the Villian Mists. And this also, of course, uh, means that in the second week we had Secret Cash 1, where we needed to actually complete the small treasure beacon. So, yeah, week two complete, really nice. Still need to shape my three weapons, and for week three, I still need to do a couple more nightfall strikes. So I'm getting pretty good along with this seasonal. Like I said it before, the, the previous seasons I really didn't really push too hard, but this season I really want to keep track of them. So quests, did we get an update? E no, we didn't get an update. The bay filled me chest, although drown. So, Bay just drowned, dream, lost, wish. Is there... We did need to do... Bay of Drowned Wishes. Yeah, I think that speaks for itself that we're gonna need to do this... Uh, Restless Slumber. Legendary item? Campaign mission? What the hell? Since when did I... Did I do, didn't I do all campaign missions? Anyway, we're gonna need to do the Bay of Drowned Wishes, I think. So let's uh, head on in there. So this is one of the fastest Lost Sectors you can do. Like, this is really, really fast. All right. I swore I was dead at the shore of the lake. Their shadows stretched long as they searched the debris, but though they did strike out at me... And yeah, I knew I shouldn't have read it over there. Their words find me ears, but they didn't find me. So we got strike, dead lake, and shadows. So we're gonna need to look for a strike. I presume... Shadow strike. Hmm. I swore I was dead. Lake. Shadow strike. Dead lake. I'm gonna need to look around. Because this, we got the Villian Mist here with the Villia and then the Strands. But there's nothing with Dead and Lake here. So there has to be a location. Dead Lake, Warden of Nothing. The Corrupted. Yeah, I don't think it's actually in the Dreaming City that we're gonna need to be. Okay, give me a second. So, Dead Lake, Shadows, Strike, Lake of Shadows, Strike, and then, yeah, the Lake of Shadows, Strike is in the EDZ, so Destinations, EDZ, and then we go down here, we got the Reservoir, Lake of Shadows, Strike, and it is at a lake, 
Uh, so, yeah, I guess we're gonna need to do the Lake of Shadow Strike. Let's go in. Let's see if uh, my hunch is correct. We really are getting way too powerful. <laughs> we killed the guy in charge and his big scary blight. When we have a common goal, civilians and guardians can stand side by side and accomplish anything. Only when we have a common goal. Anyway, this was the right strike to do. So let's check out after we leave this place. Before we go into yeah the next uh, the next event, let's check out what the quest update actually says. Right. So we got step three out of five. Me long expedition led to no rewards. So we're gonna need to do an expedition. Okay. Me bones cried for the rest, and yet I could not yield. Lest I hear the sound of a crewmate's drawn sword. I shiver with terror at what they might wield. So we're gonna need to wield a sword in an expedition. Like, it really is... It really is just too easy. Like, it really is. Holy crap, this is way too easy. So, treasure chests. Uh, do I actually have enough? Ooh, I barely have enough to... Oh! A crude side. Yeah, that's what we got from the previous... From the previous uh, run, right? From the pieces, previous treasure we looked for in the previous episode. A patchwork of weathered parchment with distinct holes and markings could be aligned with something to reveal a hidden path. Crude cipher fragment 1 out of 2. So it is, it is, a, it is a fragment for a map for the captain's atlas. Okay, interesting. So, rotating expedition weapon map. Let's pick this one up. Go into an expedition. Wield a sword. It doesn't say that we need to get kills. Just that we need to wield one, right? So, uh, yeah. Destinations. And then we go to the helm. We go to expedition playlist. And let's launch. Right. Nice. Let's open. Let's emote. Ah, uh, we get gloves. I've been getting my the most of my red border weapons actually from the emoting with your crewmates. Like I think I got like five patterns already from them in like two days. So that's actually a really good means to actually get your hands on the seasonal weapon patterns. Like just you need to get the in the treasure treasure room or what is it on the helm there? You do need to pick up the first one on the left bottom. Like, there's three, three, I'll show you in a second, once we get there. But it actually, I just emote, and only one needs to do it. And then you get the, on the left, you could see, like, the crew celebrated. If one team in your, if one person in your team actually does it, be it in Expedition or be it in Catch Crash, like, everybody gets the actual reward from it. So, you just need to click it, and then just, yeah, it's, it's really, really good. So open the rockery. We've got a quest update. The red grounds of Nessus. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> okay. That's really easy on where we're gonna need to be. So would soon be me grave. A column reached high into alien hue. Though cistern did cistern did beckon. No water it gave. At pyramid's imprint, I sought to pass through. So Nessus Column Cistern Pyramid Imprint Pass Through. The cis Cistern? Nessus. Okay, let's first let's first check out Nessus. So we got okay, so we got the Cistern on Nessus. Okay, so it's in the bottom here. Let's launch to there and then quickly can I go back to my quests? Yes, nice. Pyramid's imprint I sought to pass through. Column. So we're gonna need to look for a column near a pyramid imprint. Oh, look at that. I found it, I think. Found it. So, yeah, I was... This one is kind of strange. I've been basically running around a lot. And... Well of Flame is where we're gonna need to be. Does it have anything about... Like, Column, CERN, Pyramid, Imprint, I sought to pass through. 
So pass through, I was thinking like we need to go somewhere inside. Like that kind of made sense. But then a column, the only real column we had was this one. And then when I saw this triangular shape, I was like, okay, that's kind of like a pyramid. But first I was like looking around and this is on this place like there is no pyramid ships here. Like what the hell is going on? Then I yeah saw this column here and then the triangle and it kind of start making sense. And we've got this marker here. Investigate. Okay, nice. So we got a new step. Me crewmates were nearing. It was just as I feared. And terrible fluid did fall from the sky. I fancied I I fa fancied I noticed beyond broken sphere a place that was safe for me treasure and I. Okay, so we're gonna need to look for a waterfall. So something like that over there. Oh yeah, that is more like a waterfall over there. Okay, so it's probably going to be in that direction then. Oh, found it! Broken sphere. Yep, found it. So, the broken sphere. We've got the waterfall. And actually, this entire platform is like a circle as well. Dude, trying to do a quest here. Yeah, you're going to bother me as well, right? Come on, show up. I know you want to. Here we go. Yeah, broken sphere, waterfall. The last part wasn't actually all that bad. And we catch killer's grips. We got tarnished metal map fragments and the crude cypher fragment. So the second uh, cypher fragment, we actually need to create a map, which is really cool. And there we go, guys. Second map, second treasure found. And here we go. Let's open this one as well. Regional chest. Let's sit our ass down because I'm going to end up my episode here. This was a it was a little bit tougher than the first one, but still not too bad. Simply because yeah, the words are printed out in yellow. Like you need to go off the yellow words, and then if you play the game a little bit and know a little bit about the maps, it shouldn't be all that hard. Still for me, <laughs> it is, kinda is. Anyway, guys, like I said, I'm gonna end up my episode here. If you want to see more of my quest progression in Destiny 2 or any other game I might play on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you do, give the video a thumbs up. It would always help, of course, in the search engine of YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.